Joe, in your first summer run at Ellis Park, you won the title. So just sort of reflect on last year's uh, meet and your experience at Ellis Park. Yeah, uh, we had a great meet last year. Uh, got, got into some really good barns, started off really good. So uh, hopefully we can uh, do the same this summer. And um, it's going to be a little different this summer in that, generally speaking, a lot of the riders are still based in Louisville and then go down for race days. But now this place isn't going to be open for training. Do you think you're going to be down there more? I mean, working horses? I would, yeah, I, I think a lot of it's in, in general going to be there more. Just, uh, I, I mean, obviously, with uh, you know, it's going to be a huge influx of horses being there with Churchill being close. I, I think it's going to be a, a, um, a good thing for us being there so often just on uh, just to you know try and get in with some with some more barns and uh hopefully we can get rolling like we were last summer have you looked at the condition book if you haven't i'm sure your agent jake has uh jake showed me it looks looks good to me yeah I mean, record purses <laughs> yeah no it's unbelievable i mean uh, especially compared to last year i know uh covid didn't help much but that's uh i, I mean any any time you're running for 50 or above for maintenance and allowance that's uh, really good what was it like riding down there last summer? I mean, it's a it's the largest race course, mile and eighth in this dirt course, I should say, in the state. Um, anything unique about being at Ellis Park? Uh, I liked it. I mean, it's on uh, like you said, it's mile and an eighth, so uh, it, it's pretty uh, pretty forgiving as far as turns and stuff like that. But I mean, uh, it, you know, we were. I think if you do good anywhere, it's it's hard to complain, you know. But I, I uh, enjoyed it there, and then on uh, a the town close by Evansville, I, I would stay there quite a bit, and uh, it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty enjoyable. Overall, um, you're starting your second full season in Kentucky. Smart business move for you moving your family to Kentucky. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, I, I mean, it started off pretty slow just because this winter didn't help me. I missed a few weeks catching on uh, COVID, so we're still kind of kind of trying to. Uh, fight back and get business back from that but, uh, but yeah I mean we uh, for the most part uh, I mean we absolutely love Kentucky uh, but this is uh, I mean this is home you know we uh, bought a house here the kids are all settled in their uh, school that they're going to so it's uh, we love it here.